Ay. Te grabamos, eh. <laughs> so now it's time for the Argentina local chapter presentation. So I'm auto moderating myself. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, here's Andy to give the introduction. Hi everyone, my name is Andrea, she is Malena, and he is uh, Ariel. We are Lockup Chapter in Argentina. Um, um, as a reference, we are here, uh, far in the sur in Latin America. Uh, our country, our have a very long country, has 44 province and capital federal. We have all ty types uh, of climes from very hot from the north and the south is very, very cold. So what I wanted to tell you about it's a little bit of the path we've been on. Uh, it all started in 2010 when someone from Mendoza came to the Phosphor G International in Barcelona. And he was young and full of energy. He's not anymore. <laughs> But he brought an idea. And a couple of years later, in May 30th, the, it was the first Geoinquietos gathering in Argentina. Geoinquietos is a micro chapter in Osgeo. Uh, it's a Spanish speaking micro chapter and it started in Spain. Micro. Okay, if the president says it's not micro, <laughs> it isn't. Well, these are the people who participated and the stuff we've been to we, we talked about the first time. It was really, really small. But then we wanted to do our first Phosphor G and it was really, really ambitious. And Well, we had a couple of people who supported us and helped us bring the, the OSGEO way of thought to Argentina. Luckily, they keep supporting us and helping us in everything we need. So we did, after that, three more conferences. We are really happy to be able to be kept, keep doing workshops and GEO beers and barbecues and everything GEO we do. We always are together drinking and having fun and eating. But I wanted to show you this little video. It's from 2017 and it's the year we were able to do the state of the map and the Phosphor G in, in the same event. It was only a regional event, but we were really happy to get together with the two communities. And it's been really fun to be able to bring people like Victor and Maria and Maria Brovelli and Jorge Sanz and Ivan. And even Vasily was in, in Argentina in 2016. So we learned a lot from them. Like uh, the Ireland chapter said earlier, to be able to have these people come to Argentina and teach us about the software they created and coded. It's really, really great for the community and to take into account how big the open source software uh, market is and to learn more and more. So now... Uh, and now since we create and the initial uh, to have the legal framework for the local charter, this is no official now official i'm sorry <laughs> but i uh, work for open open stream map argentina geochica wise uh, i'm uh, geonquietos argentina in argentina i'm sorry uh, está. we want uh, to make uh, the 2021 international force Uh, for for she in Buenos Aires, please commit. <laughs> I'm sorry, in, in speak English, no good. <laughs> uh, what uh, any motives in contacts 
uh, in Chinese context, yes, <laughs> uh, in uh, visits in uh, city Buenos Aires is no problem, or <laughs> uh, in virtual channel. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, does anybody have a question for us? Yes, really short, I'm sorry. But we can tell you a little bit more about what we are doing in Argentina because we really want to bring the international Phosphor G uh, to, to Buenos Aires because we think we have been working towards that for the, for the past six years. We've been gathering since 2012, and really, really trying to build a community, but now it's time to create a Phosphor G market in Argentina, and we are finding it really hard to work from the inside. So we think, okay, maybe if 12,000 people, 1,200 people come to Argentina and say, Foss, it's a real market. You can earn money. You can have enterprise support for your company with Foss software. Maybe we can start building more of a of a synergy and 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 for people to be able to see the economic side of it because we have been able to make people use free and open source software, but we haven't been able to create the the market for it yet and companies from europe they don't really see it as appealing because we can't pay in euros so maybe there's a way to build a bridge be between the, those two concepts oh, but you are cheap at the same time. we are we are really cheap <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended <laughs> and also um well, what I was talking about uh, earlier with the Arlen uh, chapter is the workshops. It really helps spread the word because people come and they haven't seen a GIS desktop software ever or only work in ArcView. I will tell you, people still use it in Argentina. So when they open QGIS and they see the all the things PostGIS can do, it, it's amazing the things they they realize they can do and we have been really trying for people to realize how you can visualize data through maps and just that you know it's really really basic for a phosphor g conference but realizing what do they can do with a map it's huge for the for the organizations in argentina and well there's so much more to do and so much com more community to build, so please come to Buenos Aires. <laughs> so if there's no questions, yeah, we still have time if you want to go to change rooms and everything. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.